from my part, I was just feeling like I literally could not make any more videos. Mm -hmm. I just hit a wall where it was it was gotten so bad that it was basically either stop making videos or disappear forever. I just have accepted that I am like actually depressed. That was a clip from H3H3 Productions, Ethan and Ela Klein, their latest video about an update after they've been getting a lot of backlash since their last video promoting their new game. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about depression and what Ethan needs to do. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. So what I try to do is take different situations going on in the YouTube community or pop culture so you can try to take from this and improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so I just watched this video and I'm like, Sorry, I gotta go make a video about this right now. Like, oh my God, this kills me. These, these YouTubers with so much money, not getting help, just breaks my soul. It is just so crushing to me. Okay, so the history of it, all right? Ethan and Ela, um, they've gone through ups and downs recently. They went through a long, long, long legal battle about fair use, okay? And that in itself can be draining. But anyways, I talked about this in my last video. I just made a video about H3H3 yesterday, but like all of my suspicions were confirmed. I'm not a psychic. I just understand mental health and that's why I try to help all of you. I understand mental health, not only from a perspective of somebody who's been educated in the field of mental health, but also from someone who has struggled with depression and anxiety anxiety and addiction and all these other things and terrible relationships and all sorts of stuff. So I just want to help you guys with this and maybe someday Ethan will see a video like this and maybe get the help that he needs. One thing that I wanna point out real quick, for any of my loyal subscribers out there, if you watched the last video I did about Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash, my girlfriend watched the new Trisha Paytas video and their body language. You could tell that things are bad, right? And then I pointed out to him, like, look at Ethan and Ela, like compare and contrast the body language of these two couples. Like Ethan and Ela have a great relationship. You could see the difference in the way they sit. Anyways, back to Ethan. So eight months ago, eight months ago, okay? Like back in January, he made a video where we've been. Today's video, I just wanted to level with you guys. I think it's pretty obvious that we've ghosted out on YouTube. We've pretty much disappeared the past three or four months. We post like occasionally. I just wanted to talk to you guys and level with you guys about what's been going on with us. And the truth is that I've been like, I've been depressed, I think. I've been pretty, I've been pretty sad. Okay, and in this video, he talks about his depression. He talks about how he hasn't been making videos because he's been depressed. Eight months ago, okay? Like, eight months ago. So then he comes on this video and he says, you know, I've been gone, you know, I've been very depressed, I just can't make anything, I, I can't do that, da, da 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 And then, you know, unfortunately, Ela lost her father and, you know, so they've been dealing with that as a couple and, and you know, he, he talks about, you know, and he apologizes, but he talks about the bad timing of releasing this app that they've been working on for like a year and he just says it was, it was bad timing. But I can totally empathize with that, especially when you have a team of developers who worked on this thing, like he wanted to get it out there out of respect for them so he was kind of in a lose-lose situation because he didn't want to pump out content that he wasn't happy with and then you know the app got done so that makes sense but here's the thing like Ethan Ethan and Ela have money they got a ton of money and I've talked about this I think I talked about this in my Bobby Burns video where I talked about how Bobby Burns need to get help like it is such a slap in the face to everybody who cannot afford therapy to not go get help and it's not even about that like Ethan talks about in this video, how depression, like he was embarrassed about it. And so confronting that was hard because I always felt like it was like a weakness or something. And it's hard to admit to yourself that you're actually depressed. I've always thought, knew that I had problems with anxiety, but that's almost like romantic. Like, ooh, mm -hmm. he's an anxious artist. Oh shit, <laughs> that's interesting. I wonder what he's anxious about. And by the way, that's one of the other reasons why I make these videos. Like. 
to increase awareness and decrease the stigma. Like Ethan, when he talks about how it was hard for him to confront his depression because it feels weak, it feels embarrassing. Like, no, I'm trying to make mental health like a normal conversation. Like you wouldn't be embarrassed if you had a cold or a flu. Why are you embarrassed that you have depression? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't get help because they feel that that's a sign of weakness and da 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 da. And maybe that's what Ethan's going through. So I talked about in my last video, like Ethan's talked about his depression on his channel and on his podcast. And he's like, I need to work out. I need to lose weight. I need to do this. No, no, bro. You need to see a therapist. You need to see a doctor. Maybe get on antidepressant medications for a little bit. You need to do something. By the way, as I'm in the middle of this rant, like better help online therapy supports this channel. If you can relate to what Ethan's going through and you have the ability to do affordable online therapy, go ahead and check out the link in the description below, all right? It's an affiliate link, it helps support the channel, but more so, it helps you out. Like, one of the reasons I start off every video with, we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution, is this stuff right here. Like, how long are you gonna do this, Ethan? Are you gonna sit there and are you just gonna talk about your depression, like, forever? Like, when are you gonna take action? When are you gonna do something? Like, um, I had some comments on my last video about, like, pointing these things out, and sorry, like, a lot of mental health is tough love. Like, I love everybody, I hope they get the help that they need, but, like, in a sense, like, Elon needs to, like, look at Ethan right in the face and say, bro, go get some help. Like, get some help. I don't know, um, like, Ethan's obviously more vocal than Ela. I don't know how much she's dealing with, but Ethan has the resources to see a doctor, to seek therapy, and start working on this stuff. But one of my favorite sayings, okay, listen to this, okay? If you've zoned out this entire video, stay with me right here, okay? One of my favorite sayings. Write it on your, your wall or put a post-it note on your mirror, okay? You ready? You ready for this right here? If nothing changes, nothing changes. Like when I was sitting in my depression um, and my life was just completely in ruins, right? Like I lost everything because of my addiction. I kept having people saying that to me, Chris, if nothing changes, nothing changes, right? Because it goes to that definition of insanity. The definition of insanity, doing the same thing over, expecting different results. So, if Ethan just keeps doing what he does, nothing's ever gonna change. And that's the insanity right there. Insanity is continuing on this path, just thinking that this problem is just gonna resolve itself. It's not. And this is for all of you too. Your problems are not magically going to disappear. It takes action, okay? My mental health that I have today, the amazing place that I'm at today, the amazing life that I live today, it takes a ton of work, a ton of work. It takes anti-anxiety slash anti-depressant medications. It takes um, meditation. It takes talking to my support group. It takes me going to the gym. It takes like 50 million things to keep this crazy mind in check, all right? My mental health was not going to get better on its own. So, like, it is, it just pains me. It pains me, it's funny, because my last video about Ethan and Ela was so much more empathetic. Like, I'm still empathetic, but like, I'm just riled up. Like, you cannot make videos eight months apart about how you're still struggling with depression, but you haven't done anything about it, all right? Like, dude needs to take some action. Okay, so anyways, that's my that's my thing. Hopefully Ethan gets the help that he needs like, and, and can create the content that he likes and all sorts of stuff. Hopefully his video answers some questions for some people. But again, again, check out the description below. If you can relate to this stuff, if you're staying in the problem rather than getting into the solution, like I don't even care if you use the better help link down in the description below. Like go see your own doctor, go see your own therapist, do something. Hell, I have an entire mental health reading list down in the description below that I will link, go check it out. Start learning about your mental illness and start reading about things that you can do on your own that'll help you out. I'm actually in the process of organizing some thoughts to write really short books about overcoming depression and anxiety and things like that. But do something. Mental health takes action, all right? That's all I got for you with this video. Leave comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Are you somebody who stays in the problem, doesn't get in the solution? Uh, what are the reasons that you don't seek help? What are the reasons that you don't talk to a doctor or a therapist or something like that? All right, let's have a conversation down below and try to support one another so we can all improve our mental health together, okay? But again, that's all I got. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, I'm always making videos just to help you out with your mental health, so make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank 
thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're amazing. You help me do something that I love, which is trying to help people out with their mental health. If you would like to support the channel over on Patreon, there is a link right there. Just click on the little Patreon icon. All right, thanks so much for watching. Get into the solution, and I'll see you next time.